Hey guys, it's Nars from ggvogue.com. I'm here with Genius Panda from Team You Only Lose Once. But you didn't actually lose this time. You guys actually won. So tell me about coming into this game, your confidence level. Alright, so coming into this, like coming into this game, I wanted my teammates to get comfortable. So I just let them pick whatever was comfortable for them. I didn't really, you know, regulate their picks or tell them to pick certain things. And uh, everyone did fine. Everyone did what they needed to. And we came out on top. Well, speaking of top, <laughs> the losing team's captain told me that they were having a really hard time on top lane. So can you tell me a little bit about like what your team was talking about, especially top lane? Did you kind of like use that as a as a vehicle in order to be able to to, to snowball in the end? All right, so the secret to that is our top laner is um, one of my child prodigies. Like, I've trained him since he started playing league. And I correct a lot of his bad habits before he hit 30. So when he hit 30 and got into ranked games, he uh, really picked up well to what LCS players do. He started watching videos, started learning a lot of what Stonewall does. And he excels better than what I do in the lane. And I'm really proud of him. That's like almost your secret weapon there. Then you didn't tell anybody. <laughs> so coming into the next, uh, I guess, to the next matchup, what are some of the strategies you're going to take from what you kind of played right now into the future? So coming into the next game, I plan to, I still want my team to be comfortable. I still want to allow them to play what they want to play. I'm not going to, you know, force them to play certain things, but I'm going to limit their categories so that way we can have a better team synergy and have uh, better ways to come out on top of fights and the different strategies such as split pushing. And you're going to be up against probably two challenger teams that are actually here tonight. Does that, does that nerve, does that nerve wreck you or like are you just kind of like whatever happens, happens? It's, it's, it's whatever happens, happens. Online, I play with a lot of Diamond players. I've been playing with like Diamond, Platinum, Challenger players since I was silver, so I've gotten the habit of playing with people who are better than you. That's the only way you're going to get better, by playing with people who are better than you. Thank you so much for this interview. And continue watching more coverage here at the Le League of Legends Clash of the Legends Tournament in Fort Lee, New Jersey. I'm Nars. DJ Vogue out.